Welcome back to my channel. It is Tuesday. It is just about 11.30ish. Well, it's not even 11.30, almost. And I have a doctor's appointment today. Two of my neighbors need cigarettes. I do not right now because I have not been smoking hardly anything whatsoever. I still have four packs left. I'm good. Um, so I'm gonna run out there for them. Maybe, I don't know if that, four packs won't last a month. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I have to run to the gas station for my other neighbor and then a coffee. And, um, I figure that since I'm going way out the other way that I'm going to go ahead and maybe stop at five below or something, maybe pick up a few Christmas gifts. Um, so it's a recheck and it's just, ch oh, that's what I was going to show you. This is what JR got me for mother's day. It says Mamito. Can you see it good? And then on the sleeve, he has Michael and JR. So that was a gift that, you know, he got me for Mother's Day. Well, don't get me wrong, my pressure washer. Um, but I'm leery. I don't want to cut this hoodie. Um, you know what I mean? Because it's very special. But it does go up and it feels like it's going to choke me. So if I keep moving it, that is why. <laughs> so let's go. Um... I think what I'm going to do is get the gas station. Uh, I don't think I need gas. Get the gas station. Maybe I will get gas. I don't know. ADHD mind, right? <laughs> but I think I'll hit the gas station and then I'll hit Duncan. Now I'll probably hit the bank too while I'm out. Just to get it all done in one swoop and then just leave. One of my neighbors. She walks every day. Many times we used to cross paths and such. Um, I've Don't get me wrong. I want you to know. I've already gone to Duncan once. I'm not going to lie. I needed a boost of energy. And I went in pajama pants and slippers. That's as good as it got. It was before 9 a.m. And I've already done that. I've had a cold brew. And I'm about ready to get another cold brew. Um... Yeah, this is this has been kicking my butt. But I keep on going. And you know, a lot of people, you know, have said, take it easy. But I really have for me, I've taken it way easy. Actually, I don't know as far as steps yesterday because my watch died and I put it on and then I uh actually just got it off. So my watch has been charging for like 24 hours. You can see it in my eyes though. They're all swollen and is what it is. Um, I do have a little bit of mascara on the top. I did not put it on the bottom because my eyes just water. So this is as good as it gets for Nana today. And I still, I wish this gentleman would um, find something that, how do I say this? They don't have his cigars where I go. I do wish that there was something there that he would enjoy only because, you know what I mean? I go probably about two, three times a week sometimes. So, if, you know, if he could have bought many of them it would have been you know nice for him as well so I don't mind it's not far and half the time I'm heading out to get a Dunkin anyways I just feel bad like if he texts me texts me at night and say hey you're going out and I've already been out during the day or I've already I've already laid down and then I feel bad I feel guilty not getting up and doing it 
just me. I do it to myself. So it's going to be a pretty long day. Um, long day for me, anyways. I won't record the whole time. My God, I would bore you to death. And I'll stop here first. All right. Should I get gas? It is 3.09. I know my, um, well, not mine. The neighbor's card was not working for earning points or whatever. So I don't know. Let's, let me just see. Let me quit thinking ahead of time. I got to stop. Okay, hold on. All right. So, you know, <laughs> when you go in and, oops. Uh-oh. So, I went in. I got my neighbor's item. And I seen what they had. So, I come back out. I get my card. And I go back in. Oink, oink. Yes, I will eat them. I don't want them to melt in here, though. So, I don't know. I'll probably take them out of my car when I drop his stuff off and such. So, though that sugar might give me a sugar high, so to say. Oh, got a friend texting me as well. Respond to her in a minute. Hopefully, it's just someone doesn't need someone else. Something else. And time for that cold brew. Oh. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready, ready, ready to feel better. <laughs> I'm whining, right? Say, shut up, Diane. See how close it is? That's why I don't mind doing things for people. Because it's it's actually right on my way. And it helps getting in and out of the car. So I'm not just sitting constantly. Here we go. For you, Amy, listen. How can I for you? Hi, can I please get a large cold brew with the shots of vanilla, Splenda, and cream? And that's it? Okay. Thank you. Okay, that's for you, Amy. I'm probably the only person here right now. Oh, nope, there's one ahead of me. But I am going to take this down. I am going to scan and earn those points. Be right back. All right. So, I told you I came here earlier. Well, when I came here earlier, I went through the drive-thru. It was the one girl that I know very well. And she went to do the iced coffee. I said, I ah, want a cold brew this morning. So, um, she says, Tasha said no. I said, well, F Tasha... I'm thinking in my head, Tasha go and call, call Duncan or something? They're laughing and laughing, and I'm like, well, I get up to the window, I was like, Tasha called? And my friend Tanya goes, no, girl, it's Tasha, there's a Tasha in here, and I go, oh, and she goes, I said, I'm so sorry. Here, I said, F you over the loud you know over, over the speaker but they have the headsets on so you don't have to worry about any customers hearing it and so the girl is back there laughing I said well, girl you had me confused I was thinking you know like my daughter-in-law called and told you no or whatever and laughing she goes no she goes I just had to she goes what's funny is my daughter and your granddaughter are on the same they cheer together I was like wow small world so they know my coffee. So this should be perfect again. Oh, no, hold on. I lied. So I was very thirsty and I had sneezed. So I wanted a sip of the coffee and I put my straw and I went to take a sip. <laughs> Listen, there was no Splenda. I don't even think there was vanilla shots. So I looked at the girl and I said, yeah, you're not mad, right? And she's like, what? I go, there's no like vanilla or splendor or something in this coffee. She starts laughing. She goes, oh my God, we were laughing so hard. I might've forgotten. So she made another one. And I sipped it. I go, this is perfect. She goes, I guess I got to focus. I go, yeah, I guess so. So, and then I told Tasha a little while ago and she's like, oh my God, that's funny. What might be funny to me might not be funny to y'all. 
You had to be there. It was a big laughing fest at the drive through at Duncan. And then people came over to see, you know, who it was. Of course, it's the old lady with the biggest mouth. All right. So I'm going to stop at the bank because I have been scanning my card way too much. Way too much. I think it has a raw spot on it. I think it has, I think it has a boo-boo on it. How's that? This is so bumpy right there. So I'm going to take cash out because I know that I'm going to stop at five below. And I also want to ask, how come people call it five and below or something? They call it different when I watch some people's um, shop with me and such. It's a school zone. That's my granddaughter's school zone. Only can go so fast. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to overspend and no. I want to stay within my limits. Um, I'll look for like stocking stuffers, such like that. Um, maybe a couple little like, because um, I've been thinking in my head, you know that. Maybe a couple little um, like toddler boy toys. Because Trey, again, you guys know his birthday. We haven't done it yet. So then maybe I could wrap it and then put a couple of toys on top. And I have yet to do that dang Timo. The funny thing is, I can I could keep my Timo and not open it for such a long time. It would it would drive Tasha absolutely bonkers. I also need to pick up an eyebrow pencil because man, I need to do these eyebrows. And usually the one I get is elf I love it it's it's taupe it's a good match for my eyebrows so um, that's at Walmart and actually I seen on a Facebook short because I not Facebook I'm um, YouTube short um, that that Walmart has a two-piece sweatsuit outfit I want to say $15.99 for this like hoodie and I don't know if I get a hoodie or just without it, you know, because I have so many. And then a um, the pants, matching pants. And I don't have a lot of cold winter gear. So, all right, let's do this. Do you want to watch? Yeah, sure. Why not? So many buttons to push so I decided I'm gonna set a minimum and I'm gonna try to stick to that minimum of $200 um, no I'm not gonna spend it all at five below like I said I want to stop by Walmart as well because it's going to start getting cold. And I do have like leggings and such like that. But I only have two pairs of like heavier sweatpants. Um, I think they're champion. And I had ordered them one time when they were on sale on the website. And one is, one is so big and comfortable. And just I wouldn't really wear it out if I went shopping or something. I actually call that my pig suit. Because <laughs> um, my my niece said when you wear all gray sweatpants and sweat shirt and they're big and oversized, it's called the pig suit. So I happily wear that. Um, and the other pair, they are smaller, but I don't like the way they feel. They're a different type of material. And that's because I couldn't, they were on clearance and one was one size, one was another. One was a different, you know what I mean? So, hence, that's why they feel different. So, I think I want something very soft. We'll see how these, we'll see how every the day goes. All right, so I'm going to drop this off and then head out. It's almost noon. And we'll 
we'll get this taken care of. But this way, everything that I had to do was this side of town, and now I have to go to this side. So that's why I did it the way I did it. And I do have a half a tank of gas, so that's plenty. What a day. Um, I still think about Sally. Um, I do when I, like, go and relax at night and just lay in bed. I think, you know, how she must want the peace. You know what I mean? Like, my house is very, very quiet now. Um, all I have is three cats. They don't meow a lot unless they want food. And that's wet food because they've got food down all the time. And they don't, um, or treats. Not going to lie. They will meow for their treats around 6.30ish every single day. And they're relentless. But I don't have the barking of a dog, which I miss. I miss having a dog. Um, it, I don't know if I would ever get a puppy again because of my age. I might rescue a dog um, if I, you know, get my tiny. Though with my cats, my cats are not used to dogs and do not like dogs. So I wouldn't want to disrupt their happiness either. Because, you know, they're just used to not having a dog. And when my son's dog was at the house with us, um, they were not happy. They were not happy cats at all. So, it's important to me. Alright, let me bring this to him and then we'll be off again. Alright, here we go. Alright, he was standing out back for me. So, here we go. I guess he was waiting, huh? I didn't tell him I had to go to the bank, so I just thought of it. I hope he wasn't waiting long. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Let's go to the doctors and see what we have. It's one thing or another, right? It's just a recheck, so it's nothing major. And usually, if I have a recheck and I've cleared up, I will call the day or two before and cancel. Like, hey, I'm feeling better. I'm good. This time, definitely keeping the appointment as you notice. Oh, there she is walking again. I, I need to get out and walk. Yesterday, I wanted to, guys. I really, really did. Um, yesterday, I did the um, car vlog. I picked up my allergy medicine that did make me sleepy. Um, and also, I uh, I did a Aldi's um, walk of shame. They have some really cute items. I cannot smell very good as of yet. So it was hard to, for me with the candles to see if they would throw a really good scent so I didn't purchase any. Um, Tasha said this morning, she goes, I watched your Aldi's. I'm going there. I told you are. I'm going to pick up some wax melt. I don't remember which one she said. Or the, the burner, which I already have several. But she is into Halloween people, okay? So, she said she was going. I don't know if she's going today or what, but. So anyways, I was saying, you know, I, I really feel for Sally because, like, back when JR and Tom, wow, that's a huge home being built. I don't know. Try to look that way when I go by on that side. Let's see if it shows. There we go. It's huge. So when I would, like, watch TV and such and I would be in my bedroom, like, I could hear the TV in the living room or I could hear the TV in the bedroom. So... I understand where Sally's coming from because of noise and I understand because of like when Jim does his live how loud she can be and, and, he, and she knows he's on the live come on we've already distinguished midnight 
or starry nights or whatever. Like, come on, please. So, you know, and he doesn't like the squeaking dog toys. Okay, well, if he doesn't like it, you know he's doing a live. Get up, shut the door so the dog can have fun with the toy, but not everybody hear it. I'm mean, again, maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know in the comments. Did that squeaky noise get to you? And do you understand why it would bother Jim and or Sally? And uh, I don't know if she was in the living room at one point or if she just yelled, the dog was awake. Like, <laughs> I've never had a dog that takes naps in a crate or a crib, never. And I've owned many of dogs, just to tell you, never. They would fall asleep on the floor and they would fall asleep on the couch. Like they would just sleep whenever. Now this dog has gotta be almost two years old now. They've, never mind. Cause I can't say they, and I wanted to, but she has kind of made a monster out of the dog because when the dog is with Jim, the dog is calmer. I've noticed it. Other people have noticed it. It is what it is. I mean, you know, you can't leave the home without taking the dog because the dog barks. If you would have trained that dog from a puppy, that when you left the house, that's when the dog would have been put in the kennel or the crib, well then, guess what? The dog would have been used to it by now at the age of two that knows, hey, my owners are leaving, they're putting me here, whatever. It just, you would have been able to keep the dog in the crib or the kennel, whatever you want to call it, for a couple hours with no issues. But it's all about how you choose to do you, boo. You know, um, I posted the video and someone mentioned about, I care more about her mobility. I think it was Jan, actually. I care more about her mobility than she does. Well, yeah, that's something really to be concerned about is someone being mobile. You know, you don't want them stuck in a bed. You don't want them stuck in a house. You want them to be... I want people to be able to enjoy getting outside if they can, doing things, you know, even if it's once or twice a month, going out, getting to the stores. You know, also, our immunity, if you stay locked up for so long, is weaker. Just like with children, you build up immunities, you know. Like my son, JR, he was allergic to dogs and cats. He's no longer allergic to dogs and cats. His immunity has built up over time from the exposure. Does that make sense? Just like when you get allergy shots. They, they, the allergy shots they give you are all of the allergens that you're allergic to. So every time they did that to JR when he was younger, because he went through everything, guys, everything for allergies. He went through the allergy shots every time that they gave him his allergy shot within the next 24 hours he landed in the um, emergency room and then was hospitalized so then they would lower the dose amount and he'd still land up in the emergency room so how well does that work sometimes it didn't work with him because of his allergies and his asthma and when he had allergy his asthma kicked in horrible now, back then, when he was younger, they used what was called phenylalanine syrup. And that would, a lot of times, be very helpful. So, And then he had a liquid steroid. Oh, good Lord, he hated that. And then he had one you had to sprinkle in stuff with jelly. And, oh, it was difficult times. It really was difficult times with someone being asthmatic with high allergies and having epileptic seizures. Yeah. Jim and Jerry, I mean, if, if you had children, I would be in the emergency room and 
um, my son would be hospitalized, I couldn't just call out of work because I would have lost my job. So I would sleep on the floor back in the day. They didn't have what they have today. I can tell you right now how many times I slept underneath his little, it was like a metal crib back in the day. Um, and I can't tell you how many times that happened. And then my family would come up and you know what I mean? So, and then something was said about, well, you didn't have children so they could take care of you. Well, you don't have children so they could take care of you, especially in your fifties. Good Lord. Good Lord. I'm, I'm in my sixties. I don't need someone to take care of me. Um, Sally doesn't need someone to take care of her. I know Jerry had said you should see her walk into the refrigerator. Maybe because, and, and this is just me, again, please don't take what I say as this is what's going on. Maybe because a person that's in the house with so much, seeing so much sedentary lifestyle, like, all winter, what did you all do? Did you all get out? Did you all do anything? If you're going to stay locked up all winter long, oh shit, I, I could, I could. I don't care if I had to trudge through snow. I don't care. I don't care if my son, if I had to call him up and say, hey, pull me on the sled to my car. I, I have to do something. So, in my stomach, um, I'm still having, I swear, to, I swear to you, I've drank almost a half a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. So, could be the, the antibiotics, I don't know. But, and I've had an emergency where I've had to get up and go. I would have never slept through it. I'm just saying, that's why I'm saying it's so important that you don't let that we put on that back burner about what happened in your bed because that could be very important information especially to not feel it to not know it to not smell it I don't know very important information I, I feel so almost here and then I'm going to continue forward Oh, and I didn't say my doctor's at a different office. I have to go to a different office today because this is not normally where he is, but this is where my recheck, my, yeah, my recheck is. So, almost there. And that's why I'm continuing on and, um, gonna hit the reservation and then coming back. I'm gonna do just a bunch of things. Just yesterday, we you know, even though I did get out, it was still what was considered a rest day for me, really. And with our friend canceling doctor's appointments at the last minute, that's what people have a big issue with as well. Because, you know, like if you watch Kim C's video, she said, well, she, she has to wait six months for an appointment, right? And then there's somebody that's canceling there's people that are on what is called a like a waiting list like they will call hey an appointment canceled can you make it in by such and such a time the nurses will go and do that if it's canceled within a certain amount of time so i don't know i know it's right up here and i i've only been here one other time so um so that's why people get frustrated because the office doesn't have a day or two to call the people that are on the waiting list to see or to reach out to someone like, hey, there's a cancellation. Would you be made, able to make it in the office at this time? That is why people get very upset. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So nobody thinks like, oh, you're just being mean. You're just being evil. And goodness, I don't remember being this far. Oh, here we go. Okay, see it. All right, guys, so I'm going to pull in here. I'm going to get this taken care of, and then I'll be back. Hold on. 
All right, so done with the doctors. I made a couple phone calls. Um, I have walking pneumonia. So this could be why I'm not feeling my best yet. Uh, they did do a chest x-ray and a lung x-ray. Um, they did some of the upper and lower. So this is why um, I'm not contagious. I've been on antibiotics. They are gonna continue the antibiotics for five more days. So, I just thought I'd pop on and let you know that. And um, I call, you know, like Tasha and uh, my sister and such like that. So, that's why I'm on the road. And now I'm heading to the reservation. And uh, there's a lane closure, so it's backed up. Always seems like there's a major lane closure. However, I noticed I have my, um, oh, actually... Hey Siri, it might not. And navigation. Um, I don't know if it's going to or not. So it's got me getting off on the correct exit. So it's not like I have to veer off and go through like oh, it's some out there, some small like little towns or villages or anything like that. So it's great. It's just a straight shoot. But I don't know how long this lane closure is for. So um, I am not sure if Mona's having a live tonight or not. Ooh, that car almost hit that. Wow. It The car came down fast and wanted to get through this. There was no way of getting through it. And he almost ran into the, the barricade. There's cement. I don't know if you can see it. Like, there's cement barricade there. Like, wow. Like, I get people want to get somewhere quickly, but don't risk your life or other people's lives doing so. Even if it's to work, you know. I'm sorry. I got caught in a lane closure. I got, you know what I mean? Something. But don't risk yourself. My goodness. Wow. Just baffles me. Like, yeah, they almost hit the cones on the right-hand side now. So, wow, they just hit that cone, not going down. Holy smokes. Guys, it's not worth it. Wow, sorry. Left lane closed ahead. So we're going to go through another lane closure, maybe. I, I get it. It's, it's like, you know, 12.39, so I get it. You know that they want to get maybe they're on their lunch I get it but wow and I know some works are strict sticklers with things you know I remember one job we had to carry a an egg timer with us and to make sure nobody went over the brakes like holy cow though that was back in the day guys but yeah they were that anal that you carried an egg timer and they give you your egg timer every day and the egg timer was set at 20 minutes and you had t two 10 minute breaks and if you had to use the restroom you had to use that egg timer out for your break time does that make sense i remember those wow i don't know if anybody else ever had those but that was the most ridiculous thing we carried those eggs while well, i was there for five five years and uh that i when uh, I call it WA, which is work from home, which is just an abbreviation, W-A-H. So, um, however, you still had to be logged in at all times. Um, they had little pull downs and we used, uh, what was it, Avaya, Avaya, I think it was called. And they had restroom break, lunch break, which that didn't count at anything. And restroom break. And just regular break. So personal or whatever. Like holy cow. You, When I tell you you were on that phone for eight hours straight. Because it was an eight and a half hour shift. You were on that phone. I remember times it was like 200 and something phone calls waiting in the queue. Like come on. And I get some people, um, 
like when you look up a lot of medical documentation, like some people didn't know where to find it in the program. Just some of her calls were much longer than other calls. And that's when I was doing the um, medical billing aspect. And while I was doing medical billing, I was going to school full time for medical transcription. So, and that's when life was a little easier when I was doing the medical transcription. Because you would log into the system, you would do your medical transcription. You know what I mean? It, it was, never mind, I don't want to explain. A lot of people already know. So anyways, so I'm just going to do this. I don't know. I know some people don't like the shop with me's or, you know, what they have. What's, gosh, why is everyone hitting the brakes today? Or what they have at, you know, five below. But I do know some people, a few enjoy it. So I may record, depending on if it's busy or not. When it's busy, I kind of get self-conscious, like, you know. But I'm definitely going to be looking for a couple little boy toys to put in his gift uh, for his birthday. He has a couple little cars, you know what I mean, and stuff like that. But let's see what they have. I'm always girl shopping. It's kind of, it just seems real funny to be shopping for a boy. I mean, it shouldn't because I had two boys. But I mean, you know, when my baby is. car seats and, and high chairs and all kinds of stuff so but I thought I'd stop and fill you guys in on what's going on with me in two miles oh, take here we go yay there's I used to hate having to get off and go through the one side of town I'm so happy it's just straight through now but I'm gonna end this and if Mona does have a live I'm definitely gonna try to join um know Kim C sent me a text Kimmy I fell asleep early I'm sorry that I woke up and I fell asleep but I didn't check any messages and that's that's just me I apologize everyone again I kind of know why now right so you know me guys I'll be back until later take care bye bye all right for those interested I don't know if that whole thing is going to be um what do you call it striked because of the music they play so but let me just show you what I purchased I purchased these pants they were only $5.99 I did get that I did get them in a medium and they have the tapered legs I'm sorry I still like those now the jacket I'm not too sure on only because of you know how I like my clothes big this is more like a fitted, but I did get it. This is supposedly an extra large. Wait till you see. I mean, I believe it will fit, but I just think it will be tight fitting. This was $10.99, and it pretty much matches pretty good. Um, little color variants, but that's okay. Um, I'm all about keeping warm. I want to get a couple of turtlenecks for the winter. Okay, then next I got a sports bra. Oh, well, they gave me these dang coat hangers. I got a sports bra. I did get it in a medium. Normally I get a large. It was $7.99. However, this stretch is great. As you get older, I'm telling you, I used to wear tight jeans and you know what I mean? Back in the day, you used to lay down and zipper them. Do you guys remember them days? So, I wear nothing but sports bra. This was a two pack of sweatpants for $13.99 oh, they're, they're put together so they're the black with the um like the striped down legs kind of like my adidas but these are really soft and they have pockets and then I got the gray pair now I had in my hand a two-piece set and I was getting one for Tasha and myself I thought it was $6.99 I thought, oh, this deal is too good to pass up. And I was going to put it away for Christmas for Tasha. It was $26.99. So I put it back. Because you can get separate pieces. You know, just like, I mean, this little outfit here. 
for two piece that you can wear outside this was basically to wear under your clothes like thermal type of deal you know what i mean but right here is like 17 bucks so i feel guilty purchasing just for myself because that normally does not happen last winter i was very cold you guys know i reside in florida and i got rid of a lot of my um heavy clothing i did keep hoodies which like i've said i have abundance of that's why hence i did not get a hoodie i had a pullover but i don't know if i'll wear it we'll see but the pants i got are so soft i wish you could feel them so um it's probably quite a long video because i was in there a while and i think i don't know if i'm going to go to five below i'm going to plug this in i don't know if i'm going to go to five below or am I going to go to, I think there's like a TJ Maxx or something around here. I was looking for more earrings because I cannot find my earrings anywhere. So I must have purged them at some point. Oh, and I have my coffee on the floor. So the sun did not hit this. So now we're all set. So let's see what store I go to next. I wanted to add real quick. There's a Marshall and a Home Goods. There's five below. There's old maybe. I wanted to add real quickly that um, so for the basically three pairs of pants, the jacket like type of thing, and the sports bra, it came to forty dollars and sixty seven cents. And I feel guilty, like I could have got that for my grandchildren. So I am going into Old Navy just to see what they have for a little tray and see what they have on clearance maybe. And then I might hit Marshalls and Home Goods. So let's go and see what we have posted today or tomorrow. Back again. All right, I went into Old Navy and I was recording a little bit. And the music that they have is too like now music. So I also got told no recording after a few minutes. So I just wanted to show you what I picked up at Old Navy. And you're not gonna believe all this. Um, a lot of these shirts were on clearance and they had an additional amount off. So like, um, a shirt for 147 came to 97 cents. Whoops. I thought there was two. Oh, of course, super cash. All right. So let me just show you real quick. I just can't believe. Yeah. 97 cents, 97 cents. The most expensive thing was five dollars and that was my eyebrow pencil and that's cheaper at walmart i believe they moved it out sorry maybe it's not in here where is it yes it is okay this is the eyebrow pencil i swear by love it love it oh all right so 18 to 24 months look how cute so one and then this, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and then they had this one for Amelia. It's a size eight, and it was two forty nine. I think it was a dollar something for the additional off. So I I got all that right. Then I purchased three pairs of ladies' underwear. They are the high rise. And they were 97 cents, their final sales. They're originally $8.99 for a pair of chonies. So I got three pairs. And I thought I got another thing besides that, but maybe I didn't. So my total for all that was $28.04. So um, he wears 12 months right now. Some of them might be a little large, and I'll see what Tasha says. She could tell by holding them up real easily. And the others, I will put away for Christmas. So, 
That's a lot of clothes. I wish they had more. You can't go wrong. See how some of them are bigger? You cannot go wrong. Go to Old Navy Clearance. Yes, indeed. It makes me want to go back in there, but they might think I'm cuckoo. So I'm going to start heading home. I just can't believe that all I spent was $60 on all that. I didn't go to Five Below. I am actually feeling a little tired and it's time to go home. So I'll be adding these bits and pieces. I don't know where um, should I add it with my um, Burlington because I did shop there and I showed the Burlington or should I add it to my car vlog and show you in my car vlog. People don't watch. It makes me nervous for them. So it, it's been a long day. I do feel better getting out. Um, again, I'm not like real wheezy or anything like that. When I'm in the store, I wear a mask. So some of it's muffled. So what I think I'll do is a voiceover because of the music. I'll just silence it out perhaps. That's where I'm lacking because when I do that, I just tend to not do everything I recorded. And I know some people love to see shop with me. People, some people just don't know how to drive. Okay, I'm just, I'm very pleased with everything I got. Um, it's almost 3 p.m., so I just want to get home. It's been a long day. And I only have one mask left. I need to get more in my car. But until later, guys, I just wanted to show you the great buys. So take care. Bye-bye.